This one guy asked if I could ask you what the status is with a certain handsome fellow that apparently mm-hmm. is on your social media named Zach. Yeah. I believe he is your boyfriend. Yes, he is. Mm-hmm. So how when did, how long have you guys been dating? Where'd you meet? Yeah, so uh, Zach and I have been together in July. It'll be 10 years. Wow. Yeah, so a very, very long time. We met in college in Mm -hmm. Oregon. He was going to the University of Oregon. Mm -hmm. I was going to Lane Community College because I was one of those girls who went, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Mm -hmm. And I was taking like sign language and like business classes and just like random stuff that I thought I'd be interested in. Um, And we were both working at Alpex Steakhouse at the same time. Oh, really? Yeah, putting ourselves through school because our parents weren't paying for our school. We were paying for our school ourselves. So we had to work. and we just kind of hit it off because he, I'm like, oh, where are you from? He's like, oh, I'm from the D.C. area. I'm like, oh, I'm from Baltimore. Mm-hmm. And so we kind of had that Maryland connection. Mm-hmm. And uh, we just started hanging out. <clears throat> we were, at that point, being 19 years old, I was a big partier, mm-hmm. big drinker, you mm-hmm. know, and he was the same. And so uh, for about a month, we were just like party friends, you mm-hmm. know, and then we became best friends and then I remember one day he's like, hey, do you want to go to Saturday Market with me? Because mm-hmm. uh, in Eugene, they have the most incredible like Saturday Farmer's Market mm-hmm. pretty much I've ever been. And in Oregon, there is a Farmer's Market literally every single day of the year mm-hmm. just because you're surrounded by farms. Everything's yeah. farm to table. It's yeah. crazy. And we kind of had this connection towards food. And we both grew up in... You know, just like a very standard American diet type. Like our parents weren't really into nutrition, Mm -hmm. but Zach and I were. We're like, oh, we can get like these fresh figs this time of year. Maybe we should eat seasonally and see what we can do playing with our diet. Um, And so we really had like this bond of kind of figuring out life in a different way Mm -hmm. and like eating different, living different. How can we live better for the environment? How can we have less waste? And we really connected on that. And after a month, we just, we were best friends and then we just moved in together and then we just have been together ever since. Wow. Yeah. That sounds like a really natural, organic way for things to come about. Yeah, it was really random because I had dated someone, the same person throughout high school. I think we broke up for like six months or something Mm -hmm. and we got back together. And then I moved in with him after high school. Mm -hmm. And then he wanted to pretty much get married and have kids. And I was like, no, I'm 18, Mm -hmm. 17. Actually, I graduated when I was 17. And then I moved to Oregon, and I was like, okay, I'm out of this relationship. I've been in for like four years. Mm -hmm. I do not want a relationship at all. And then I meet Zach, and we've been together ever since. Oh, my God. So you, like, haven't been single in, like, I was single for, like, I was single for, like, six months after um, I broke up with my ex. In high school. Yeah, I broke up with him. <laughs> so right you lost your single was in high school. It was like right after high school. Yeah, when I was like eighteen to nineteen, somewhere <laughs> six months in there, I was single. Wow. Yeah. So how um, so how does he handle you being in the adult business? Because I know that that's something that a lot of guys have issues with. Yeah, they do. Um, you know, I'm not going to say it's been perfect because it hasn't. And mm-hmm. someone who says that, oh, you know, our relationship is so good, you do, they don't care at all. It's not true. They're mm-hmm. going to care sometimes and things need to be discussed. But what I found really works for us is complete, transparent honesty, exactly how you're feeling, exactly what's going on, you know. Um, but I remember before I got in the industry, I was a webcam model. Mm-hmm. And he's like, this is great. He's like, you don't have to work as hard because working in a restaurant is hard work. You oh, know, yeah. you're there for 8, 12 hours and you're on your feet the whole time. People are yelling at you. They want to know where their you're food is. You're carrying 40-pound 40, 40 trays yeah. on your shoulder yeah. and you're just running around. And it's a very physically demanding job for I mean, it's okay money, but I mean, mm-hmm. I remember if I get 100 bucks in tips, I'm like, oh my God, I did really, really good today. Mm-hmm. I'm so excited, which now I'm like, oh my gosh, I was working so hard for yeah. such little money. Yeah. I think I was making like five, five fifteen an hour, you know? Wow. And so you get a paycheck every two weeks for like 120 bucks or oh something. God. So you literally worked for tips. Mm-hmm. Um, now I lost my train of thought where I was even going with that. But... You were yeah. working too hard as a waitress. Oh, yeah, working too so hard as a waitress. you were doing cam modeling. Doing cam modeling. Um, and he's like, this is really great. He's like, you can work literally for two to four hours and make the same amount of money that or more money. Mm-hmm. And we were living in Oregon. I had a two-bedroom apartment, like really pretty nice apartment backyard. I think we were paying five ninety nine or six ninety nine a month for this place. Wow. And we had a roommate. So... Us, we were splitting like three or four hundred bucks a month in rent, mm-hmm. and so one day in webcam, I was making 
you know, rent. And yeah. like two days on webcam, I was making all of our bills. And then um, Digital Desire reached out to me and like, oh, we want you to come to LA to do like solo stuff. And I was like, oh, you know, I'm thinking about trying this out. And he's like, well, you know, just go see if you like it as long as you're safe. Mm-hmm. You know, like make sure everything's legit. That's kind of how he was is like, make sure everything is legit. You never get put in a bad situation. Your hotel is paid for. He's like, make sure you just know all the information. And that first. was just solos, right? Yeah. It yeah. Because yeah, digital, yeah, they just did solos and girl, girl. I think they did a little bit of Girl Girl, and I think they do now, but they do mostly solo and like yeah. pretty pictures, mm-hmm. and then they usually like sell them to Hustler or whatever mm-hmm. and yep. do all of that. Um, so I did that, and I was like, you know, I really like this. Maybe I'll just go down and just do Girl Girl and just see if I like it. And he was mm-hmm. like, that's great. And he had no problem with that at all. Mm-hmm. He's like, you want to go on camera and have sex with beautiful women? He's like, I'm into it. He's yeah. like, that's awesome. And if you can make a living doing it, great. Also, we were in Oregon. We loved Oregon. Oregon's probably my favorite state in the United States, but it rains nine months out of the year. Mm -hmm. It just gets really hard after a while. It literally does not stop raining. It's just straight rain for nine months. You don't see the sun at all. Right. So we love the people. We love the city. We love the agriculture, but we're like... Let's go to LA just to see if we like it for a while. It's sunny all the time, so Mm -hmm. that'll be great. So we came down here... And I had my girl girl career for about like three years. Mm -hmm. And so for those three years, everything was good, great. He got a a managing position at like a health juice bar slash, um, they also do like IV therapies and things like that, like a really Mm -hmm. wellness place, which Mm -hmm. he went to school for like nutrition and gosh, I'm trying to think of like what his official title was. Um, like a health coach, pretty much, but like okay. a naturopathic, yeah, yeah, type. like a homeopathic, yeah, exactly that. And that's what okay. he has his um, like degree in, right? And so he was doing kind of what he wanted, and I was doing the girl girl thing. But we were still in this place where I've always had this vision, like how our life was going to be, mm-hmm. you know. And like we were doing well, but I wanted it to be bigger. Mm-hmm. Like I always wanted like a very not big life, but I've always wanted a very adventurous life. So mm-hmm. I'm like, where can what can we do to kind of put ourselves in a situation where we can travel whenever we want to, and we can go um, see other cultures and do other things, and really just I want this big life. Mm-hmm. And so Digital Playground um, approached me, and they wanted me to do my first boy girl for them. Mm-hmm. And it was definitely like a long discussion. I was Mm -hmm. like, well, you know, it is kind of weird when you're in um, kind of just a normal relationship, Mm -hmm. you know, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I'm going to have sex with other guys. Yeah. You know, and for a lot of, um, I don't want to say like civilians, but Mm -hmm. civilian people, it's like, oh, that's kind of crazy, you know. Um, But he always said, he's like, you know what, if this is what you want to do, um, I support you. It might be hard, mm-hmm. but um, as long as you're happy, I support you. So my very first boy-girl scene was, it was awkward. Mm. You know, it wasn't like, he wasn't angry, you know, he wasn't upset, but it was just kind of like, it was a different feeling. Yeah. You know, like, oh, like, bye, have a good day, even though you're going to go have sex with another man. Yeah. Until, you know, I started doing it more often and... It's just great because I come home now and it's just like it's so good to be with a man, not just for sex, Mm -hmm. you know, and it's like we both come home to each other and um, having sex with someone in real life and having sex with someone in porn is so different. Yeah. It's just the connection is different. The feeling is different. Like it's such a more real intimate experience that. Well, you're not putting on a show for. There's no show. Yeah. Like I don't have to wear my makeup. I don't have to open up. There's nothing yeah. like that. It's literally. You don't have to so, fuck sideways. Yeah. Or we, on a desk or on a yeah. cement, on a slab of cement or yeah. like in a pool in January. Yes. <laughs> and um, our bond is so powerful. Like. I love him so much. I feel like I tell them this. I'm like, I want to slice you open so I can live inside of your body. Like, that's how much I love you. Wow. You know, like, it's so, uh, like. (laughs) That is romantic. (laughs) That's how I feel. Like, I literally want to crawl inside of you and just live there. Like, you know, I don't know if you ever felt like you want to eat your partner, but like, you just want to eat them because like, you love them so much. So I feel like... That's how I feel about my boyfriend, too. It's gross. Yeah, it's really, really gross. I'm it's sorry really, to get sappy. Yeah, it's super gross. But like, it's just like, 
I don't know. Like, if you've been in love, you know that feeling. Yeah. But it's just, like, this really powerful thing, and the sex is just amazing. It's different. It's just, like, something that I've never felt before with anybody mm-hmm. else. So that when you have that, nothing can come between you, yeah. you know? And on camera, too, like, I've never done anything, like, super crazy. Like, yes, I do wild and crazy scenes, mm-hmm. but I never do anything I haven't wanted to do. Right. So, um when I come home and I'm happy and I have a really good day, he's like, great, I'm glad you're happy. Like, that's awesome. You had a really easy, cool day. And yeah. I'm just like, okay, now I have my whole other life that's not related to porn. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. And go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.